Hi Aquarius, this is your behind the scenes reading for April 2022. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Aquarius for April 2022. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Aquarius for April 2022. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Aquarius for April 2022. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. So, Aquarius. Aquarius, these are your cards, honey. So, Aquarius, you have the Eight of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is walking away from people, places, and things that no longer serve you. This is you detaching emotionally, feeling emotionally drained, and just walking away from people, places, and things that no longer serve you. So listen, Aquarius, you could be walking away, detaching emotionally, but when we're dealing with the Eight of Cups, this is someone who's leaving in search of their Nine of Cups, their wish fulfillment, and oftentimes they find that the grass is not greener on the other side, so they end up returning. So Aquarius, yes, you could be leaving, but you could also be returning. Clarify the Eight of Cups for Aquarius. Clarify the Eight of Cups for Aquarius. Clarify the Eight of Cups for Aquarius. It is clarified with the Six of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is moving away to calmer waters. Moving away to a place of peace. So either mentally or physically, you're wanting to move away. Now this can speak to if you guys had any type of disagreements or arguments between you. Agreeing to disagree. Letting bygones be bygones. And moving away to a place of peace and harmony together. Or this is you saying you just want to move out, move on, and move away from the relationship. So Aquarius, listen, you may be physically moving leaving or traveling here you can tell me that you just want to walk away detach emotionally move out move on and move away from the relationship or you're telling me that hey maybe i want to return and i want us to put it behind us and move away to a place of peace and harmony together aquarius you have the knight of cups scorpio cancer or pisces this is someone coming into you or you're coming into someone to apologize to offer your cup of love and make the romantic gesture so someone is saying i'm sorry Someone is trying to heal things, mend things, work things out, and maybe coming in with a romantic gesture here. Clarify the Knight of Cups for Aquarius. Clarify the Knight of Cups for Aquarius. Clarify the Knight of Cups for Aquarius. It is clarified with the Four of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. There's an offer on the table that you're not accepting nor rejecting. You're contemplating this offer, but actually you're bored with the offer, thinking of missing the offer. But this is also a card of you contemplating sending an offer, but you fear that the offer would be rejected. So Aquarius, listen, very well may be an offer, an apology coming into you that you're thinking about missing. You might feel like, hey, I just want to walk away, leave, and just get away from the situation. However, you could be the one contemplating sending a offer, returning, and maybe hoping that you guys put it behind you and move away to a place of peace and harmony together. So thus far, you could be going or coming. You could be apologizing or not accepting their offer here. We'll see. Aquarius, you have the Wheel of Fortune. This is divine timing at play. This is the karmic wheel of destiny. This is a fated event. This is change in your luck and fortune. Where this wheel can spin and you can have good luck and fortune. Or this wheel can spin the other way and things can get a little rocky for you. So Aquarius, listen, you can tell me that everything has changed here. You can tell me it's an actual change in your luck and fortune. Or this is about divine timing. Clarify the Wheel of Fortune for Aquarius. Clarify the Wheel of Fortune for Aquarius. Clarify the Wheel of Fortune for Aquarius. 
It is clarified with the Two of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is, we see eye to eye, face to face. We are spiritually connected. We are one. We are meant to be. We are soulmates. Soulmates with a divine union, a divine connection. So Aquarius, you're dealing with your soulmate here. And you're telling me that everything has changed between you and this soulmate. Or maybe, you know, this soulmate is wanting things to change. Or you're wanting things to change with this soulmate. Because someone is coming in with an apology here. Aquarius, you have the Eight of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you feeling stuck, like you're in a self-imposed prison of your thoughts. This is you feeling like you can't move, but you can move because it's all mental. This is you refusing to see some things, refusing to acknowledge some things, a lack of information, block communication. This is you feeling stuck, trapped, and blocked. So Aquarius, listen, you can tell me that you're feeling stuck in a situation here or you're blocking communication. Clarify the Eight of Swords for Aquarius. Clarify the Eight of Swords for Aquarius. Clarify the Eight of Swords for Aquarius. It is clarified with the Ace of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is a brand new, passionate, creative endeavor. Now, this can be the spark of a new idea. This can be some type of exciting, passionate communication, exciting, passionate action. But this one is symbolic of the male phallic and using the male phallic to be intimate. So brand new, passionate beginnings. So listen, Aquarius, you can tell me that you're feeling stuck or maybe starting a passionate new beginning with this person. Maybe they're coming into apologizing, wanting you to return, wanting you guys to get back together and things to change. However, Aquarius, you can tell me that you guys had this passionate communication, maybe a heated discussion or argument, and this is the reason why you block communication. You could also tell me that they started a passionate new beginning, and this is the reason why you're blocking them. Aquarius, you have the three of wands, Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is you waiting, waiting for your ships to come in, waiting for what you set your intentions towards to manifest. Now, this is also a card of you looking to see what else is out there, looking to expand. So Aquarius, listen, you could be waiting. Yes. You could be expecting them to come in. Yes. You can tell me that you're looking to see what else is out there, looking to expand, maybe even travel here. Okay. Clarify the three of wands for Aquarius. Clarify the three of wands for Aquarius. Clarify the three of wands for Aquarius. It is clarified with the nine of wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is you being guarded and standing your ground. You have a stance. You meant what you said. You said what you meant. You're not willing to bend, concede, meet halfway, out of out, or anything. But this is also a card of you saying, you know what? I'm tired. I'm wounded. I'm down for the count. But I still have a little fight in me left. I'm not giving up. Being persistent. But this is also a card of you having your walls up, your guards up. You're not trusting. A little suspicious, a little paranoid here. So Aquarius, Listen, you can tell me that, hey, you know, you're highly suspicious, your guard is up here, and maybe you're wanting to look to see what else is out there, looking to expand, looking to travel, because you started off saying you wanted to leave. You wanted to get on the next thing smoking and just leave here. So you may not want their apology. Everything between you guys have changed. And maybe you're blocking them and you could be blocking them because they started a passionate new beginning. Aquarius, this is your behind the scenes reading for April 2022. You guys give me feedback, subscribe, like, comment, and share. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.